the ongoing battle over tariffs between President Trump and China is negatively affecting farmers across the U.S. The conflict is expected to worsen as Trump instructed his aides on Friday to carry out his tariff plans of $200 billion in Chinese products. Even the cost of Hurricane Florence is made worse by the trade war. The trade war is having impacts on all agricultural sectors, Gary Schnitke, professor in farm management at the University of Illinois told Yahoo Finance in a phone interview. According to a recent map, provided by the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Economic Research Service and highlighted by the FarmDoc project at the University of Illinois, the net cash farm income has decreased in every American region in comparison to 2017. The main agricultural commodities, Schneetke explained, are soybeans and pork. To a second degree, there are corn, fruits, and vegetables. All of these commodity prices are linked together, he said if soybean prices fall, so do corn and wheat. Eventually, every kind of farmer experiences a major loss of income. They're coming out worse. Each region specializes in its own crops. In the basin and range, one of the regions losing the most income, it's beef and wheat. In the heartland, soybean and corn prices are falling. Blake Hurst, a corn and soybean farmer from Missouri recently told Yahoo Finance that he's already seen a 15 to 20 percent drop on the prices that he receives. The only answer is to make progress in negotiations with China since they are the biggest soybean consumers, he said. Not more government programs, but to make progress. The Northern Crescent mainly consists of dairy. However, Michigan grows lots of fruits and vegetables, while some of Minnesota and Wisconsin has good corn and soybeans. According to Schneetke, in the northern Great Plains and the Prairie Gateway, wheat is the main crop, along with corn and soybeans. Schneetke pointed out, though, that the region is experiencing drier weather than normal and production issues. The crops in the fruitful rim consist mainly of fruits, especially citrus, and vegetables. Cotton, soybeans, and corn are in the Mississippi portal. In the southern seaboard, crops such as cotton, peanuts, rice, soybeans, and beef are all being affected. Hugh Weathers, South Carolina's Commissioner of Agriculture, estimates that the impact of tariffs on our markets to date is at $70 million. It's been causing a steady decrease in agricultural income. Schneetke describes the crops in the eastern uplands as a mishmash of things. There are primarily small farms in the region, which used to be big tobacco producers, but less so now. Beef is a big one. The region is among those being hit the hardest with 30% less income compared to 2017. With farmers in that region dealing with yields and being further away from markets, their base is turning out worse, which is why they're coming out worse, he said. End the trade war. Thanks Adriana Belmonte for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com, once again that is www.atthesmall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall, we want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now.com Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, 
the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.